Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Side Gig Crafts. You guys, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness, got my coffee. Oh, I've got so many things to do. Okay, you guys, we're going to make some tags today. That's the plan. So, <laughs> how are we going to do that? I have been watching inspiration. First of all, I want to thank you guys. Um, this channel has grown tremendously over the last week. Thank you so much, and welcome to those new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone who has been here with me for a while. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're new, I hope you'll stay and hope you'll be inspired. Feel free to comment below. I do answer every single comment uh, as I get to them. Sometimes it might take me a day or two, but I do answer every single one. You guys, I want to make some tags today. I am very, very excited. This one wasn't at, Oh, I know why. Um, this one actually went in accidentally underneath another one. So that's why it's not quite as strong, but that's okay. We can still use it. This one I did with black, archival black. I love... I think this is... Well, it's one of my favorites. I did one with red. I say red, and I mean it wasn't red. It was aged mahogany. This one I did with pumice stone. And the rest of these were done with walnut stain. And they are my favorite. So um, and then a couple of them I didn't do at all. We'll add some other inks to them just for fun. Good morning, Cash. Cash says, hello, welcome. <laughs> Again, if you're new here, the cat, she's my three-legged cat. She is very talkative, and you're, you'll hear from her often if you stick around. She is a star of her own. Mm. I want to make some tags with these, you guys. And I forgot to get my foam. I think I have some brown foam over here. I actually may not now that I'm looking at it. I do have black, which would be the closest. I don't know if I want to use black. I may just use, I may just use another piece of cardstock behind. It might be the best bet. So, what I'm thinking of doing, here I'll bring over my cardstock so I don't have to keep getting up, because that's rude. So rude. So rude. <sighs> yeah, so I want to make an outdoorsy. I'm sorry I don't have a prototype. That's not my style. I haven't done this before. This is just me playing, bringing you along. I hope you enjoy that because I just never know what I'm going to get. I kind of, you know, Tim holds it. <laughs> not that I'm anywhere in comparison because that man is brilliant. All right, so here we go. I used to have a hole punch that was ginormous, but... It was busted on me, so I'm wondering if this is going to be big enough. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about going in here and just trimming this right around the circle. I think that's what we're going to do. I do think so. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave a little edge. I don't need it to be perfect because I'm going to distress the outside of it in a darker color. And we'll use the rest of the paper for something else, but this is this is the part I really, really want right here. Because this is going to make the best circle tag. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's been so freezing here lately, and I woke up this morning, I am roasting. Turned off, turned off the heat. I think it's going to be warmer today. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, see, doesn't that make a perfect round? And then I'll just glue it onto here, and then we'll have a um, a more a sturdier piece. Let me get, I want to get a couple of these cut out real quick. I know you guys have seen cutting before, how boring. If you don't feel like watching or hear me rambling on, you can just fast forward. We'll get to the, get to the meat. We're not going to, I'm not going to cut all of these out on screen, trust me. But, you know, three or four would be good. You could also do this on white paper and do like a birch, birch tree. Um, that would be kind of cool. Maybe you'd use a gray instead of the brown for the details. Let's do a couple different colors. That's those. Let's do this one. This one. Ooh, let's do, let's do a white one and a gray one. Oh, let's do those three. All right. Sorry. 
I'm just changing my mind all over the place, but I want to see how they turn out. And I'm pretty sure you probably will too. So, I could have actually done that because I need to do more inking. I could have done that to the whole thing before I cut it, but that's okay. Now Cash is calling me. Strangely enough, she was sleeping under my desk when I came in here, and she doesn't usually sleep there. I had to kind of move her. So everybody here is doing well. Um, unfortunately, Josie has been laid off which kind of stinks so they've been visiting friends for the last couple days and you know just taking some, some time to themselves which is fine so that kind of stinks right before the holidays but you know times times are tough all around and sometimes I guess businesses have to make their decisions so had nothing to do with their behavior or their their production I think they were the lowest man on the totem pole at the moment, so figuratively speaking, let's see, Chloe started a new job, Matthew's still waiting for his job to come through, it's just been a, quite a week. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do here these a bit with some other okay let's move you out of the way there paper just gonna go lightly over with this color this is vintage photo can't really see much but I think you can see enough of it to see a difference try not to push down too hard because I don't want to cover that white but I do want to you know I want it on there We'll do that to all of them. That's really pretty. I really like this one. I think it's going to look beautiful with the, um, I want to put some holly on there and I think the mahogany is going to bring out some of that color. That's kind of what I was thinking on that one. I think this ink pad needs some more ink. All right, let's get a little bit. I'm going to go light handed with this one because this is what this one is underneath. Actually, this is what I need to do with this one right here. all the way around here. Probably could have waited till I put these down. But that adds a lot right there, doesn't it? Just just around those edges, just like the bark would. I actually have some, um, oh, I don't know if I still have them, some wood discs somewhere around here. Probably in a box when I moved to, out of the other room into this one. Jeez. I need to, what I want to do is go to work and get some packing boxes and borrow them for a minute. Pack up all the stuff that's on the floor so I can get to stuff and then just start going back through it and putting things away where I want them to be. I think it'll be a little easier to handle. If I get out and about today, I might just go grab some boxes. I think that would be a good idea. What is today? Monday? yesterday and I was so ready to get out. I was like, let me out of here. It was busy for a Sunday. I got a lot done. You guys, I'm falling in love with this little lizard, this dragon, bearded dragon that's there at work. It's just so dang cute. Its personality is just so fun and I'm falling for it. I wish somebody would come adopt it. <laughs> I really do. Because I want to bring him home, her home. It's a girl. I named her Tilt because she 
turns her head. She's so freaking cute. Cutest little dragon. She's got so much personality. But I already have two. What do I need a third one for? I'll just play with her when I'm there. She likes me too. She, I pull her out and she goes and runs in the crook of my arm and wants to go to sleep. <clears throat> All right, so I put a little more brown on this one. I'm not a super fan of the gray, but I think it'll be nice when it's all said and done. So I'm not gonna overdo it. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try it anyway. Okay, so there's my circles. And what I wanna do, I need to glue them. I need to glue them here. Or tape them. Taping would probably... You know what I really want to do? I really want foam underneath them. I wonder if I could do a white foam. That's probably better. No. I wonder if this white foam would stain well. Let's try it. Let's try one, and then we'll see how that goes. And then I will... I will uh, do it offline so that you guys don't have to sit through it or speed it up, whatever. Probably offline. And come back and tell you about it. Let's see how it goes. Because I don't have brown. But I'd really like these to be sturdier than just cardstock. So, you know, that way somebody could use it maybe as an ornament or, a, I mean, they'll be made into tags but they could make you maybe use it as an ornament on their tree or something like that and then let's see we're just gonna I should have just glued it down why didn't I just glue it down and then cut it once I don't know I haven't used this for a few days so I'm assuming it's blocked maybe not maybe not So I wanted to go live the other night. My my light falling over just reminded me. I wanted to go live the other night, but I couldn't figure out how to get my camera to face down so you guys could see what I was doing. Um, the last time I went live, I had my iPad in front of me recording me, and then I had my phone in front of me so I could see the comments. But I couldn't figure out how to do both on my iPad. So I'm just going to have to try again and... Um, I know I can put my phone face down, but I don't know if I can see my comments on my iPad well, because I couldn't the first time I tried it, so that's why I went the other way. But I'm going to have to try, because I want to be able to do that. And I'm not fancy. I don't make a bunch of money on YouTube to buy a bunch of equipment, unfortunately. I'm just, I'm just me, little old me doing my best. All right, let's see. Let's put this on here. Hopefully that foam doesn't suck up all the glue. I don't think it will. Put this here. And that way the back side is going to be plain. I think this might work. And I bought a bunch of this cardstock just for this purpose. Well, not just for this purpose, but to be used. That's what I meant. So. Okay, so there's that. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Even if it's not perfect, as long as it takes the white out, I think I would be happy. It's got to reach it, I suppose.
this is just that really thin this I got this this um, foam on Amazon and I actually ordered the wrong it was supposed it was for like kid crafts and stuff I think you can get it probably this thickness at Dollar Tree it's it's not my favorite I really like the thicker foam for things but you know it has it has its place and uh, if this works then cool then I can use some more of it it works okay for shakers but you kind of have to layer it it's not real So this isn't my favorite here. I don't think I'm loving this effect. Does it work? Yeah. But here's the other question. Is that ink going to stay on that paper? I don't know about that. I guess. I guess it's okay. Still not my favorite. I don't think I'll do the rest of them that way, but, you know, it worked. All right, so I guess I'll just do the rest on paper backing. And not use the foam. So I will be right back. All right, my friends, I have got some cutting done. Oops, I... And I... Have got these ready to go. I also did some die cutting while I was waiting. Um, this is the Tim Holtz and it's got a bunch of foliage in it. And sorry, Cashy, there you are. Ooh, she's under my feet. All right, so I thought that we would just put some of this stuff together instead of boring you to tears while I cut this stuff out. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to go ahead and get those cut. So my thought is, now I think these are supposed to be layered. I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. But I did these all out of the same color. So, I don't know how they're going to look. Are they supposed to be layered? Maybe not. Yeah, I think they are. They are. Um which is cool, which is cool. We can uh, we can work with that. Now, I don't know if I want to. I think I'm not going to layer these because I kind of want them in the background anyway. But I would have to have the similar ones like these without the cutouts on them. Now these need to be layered. And I can darken these up. I did get some green. You guys would be proud of me. I got some green ink. <laughs> now, is it anywhere near me? No. But I bet I could get it. Get to it really quick. Oh, actually, oh no. Well, yeah, no, I have some archival right here. That would work out just fine, actually. Right here, this will work. This will work. We'll use that. Did you move? Can I roll my chair now? I'm afraid I'm going to roll into you, baby. Okay. All right, let's see if this will... Do I want to do the top or the bottom? I think I want to do the top. I don't think it's going to show a heck of a lot. But I think it'll show enough to make a difference. And that's all I need, really. Is just a little difference. Yeah, that's perfect. Can you guys see the difference on there? Maybe I'll hit it just one more time. Here, let's go this way. I don't know if that did anything, but worth a shot. So we don't waste that. And try not to put my arm in the ink too. I've got so many things out I want to play with today that um, I don't have a lot of room left. I've got some other videos. I need to do the, um, I need to package up our cards to send off to um, Cards for Kindness. I have them in a box right here and then I need to pull the winner. So I think we're going to do that today. Pretty sure I wanted to do it this weekend and didn't get a chance to. 
was exhausted. We um, have been working so hard to get the store prepared for our company, our corporate company this next week that I was exhausted when I got home last night. So I didn't get much done. I actually um, went and crawled into bed for just a minute and fell asleep for a few hours. I didn't mean to do that. But I guess I needed it. So, okay, so these will be... Let's get some of these scraps out of here. So I can see exactly what I've got. I'm fine if that green shows over just a little bit. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't want these to look like boobs, though. Well, now they look like eyeballs. Okay, well, whatever. So... I'll probably never look at that the same. Just want to kind of layer these like this. Looks like we might just do one. I thought I did more than this, but um, I guess not. Oh, I might have enough for two. Oops, sorry, I'm working off screen here. If it turns, oh, I want to do some others though too. So I want to do some with leaves and some with, oh, I forgot the mittens. I was going to put mittens on there. We'll just stick with these today, though, for this video. I have a couple swaps that I'm doing, and I need some tags. So that's what I'm kind of doing tags today, and it's die cutting Monday, isn't it? Let's do die cutting Monday. So there's that. Um, I don't actually I do let's do one more I have one more a piece of paper stuck under my finger now okay let's do this one and then we can put that away I want to do all my Christmasing today not all my Christmasing that silly thing to say. A bunch of my Christmasing today. How about that? That works. Let's get out our towel. Get some of that ink out of there so it doesn't mess up everything in my drawer. And we'll glue that onto here. get some of those fun things done. I also want to work on my Christ Christmas journal. Did I just drop that into, um, gosh only knows where it went, space? Probably. Great. There it is, I think. That's it right there. Excuse my head if it's in the way. There we go. And then I also have another fun idea. Um, for another project, and I'm going to turn it into a Christmas project as well. It's not specifically Christmas, but it is going to be the way I do it. It'll be fun, so you'll want to stay tuned for that. Take in a regular, everyday everyday die and turning it into a Christmas one. I think it's going to be adorable. If it goes as planned, and it will. It will. There we go. I've got 
extra berries. So these could be placed in and around the bunches of... They just all look like boobs to me. Okay. I don't really need the green ones. Okay, so here we go. This is what I thought. Actually, maybe we don't need two bunches on here. Maybe we just need the one. It'd be really cute. You guys think about that. Just kind of like that. I could get more done too. We do that and then I want to put a bow on it too. And I've just got these. Now these I could do a little differently. Oops, I need to get that little piece out of there. Cut that free. This one I could do a little differently. This one just kind of here, just kind of there. And we can put berries on there. Something like that. Maybe. Or even tuck some green ones in there. I don't know. So we'll put this one aside. We'll do these ones for sure. Okay, I'll figure that one out later. Now, or I just might more cut more, probably cut more pieces out. So one other thing I was thinking just now as I'm sitting here, before I get into that though, I would like to add some gilding wax. Why? Because it adds charm and sparkle to our project. So we're just going to put a little gilding wax there and we're just going to carefully go around. Don't want it to be too obvious, but you know, it should show. Just adding a little sparkle because Christmas is magical, right? We'll just put it around the edges just a little bit. goes a really long way so you want to be real careful with your gilding wax. Don't need much at all. It's really hard to move if you put a glob down so be ready. Yeah this one just isn't my favorite. I, I wanted to commit to the white but yeah just it's not my favorite at all. It's fine. It's fine. Oops. All right, so there's that. But I have a little more on my desk, and I don't want it to go to waste. Can't put it back in the tube, so we're going to go ahead and gild these as well. Going to want to do it anyway. Are you guys are you guys deep into the holiday crafting now are you doing fall or Christmas or both I'm kind of doing both a little bit of this a little bit of that it's working out nicely I think I'm gonna go in on some of these leaves as well just kind of putting it around the edges just really lightly
was thinking about putting some glitter on these berries, but I'm not sure. I can't decide. Put a little gold for now and see what we think. Just a little bit. And was there should be one more? Yeah, no, just two. No, there it is. All right, there we go. So there's that. Now, let's see if I can get some of that up. So we have a clean spot to work. Good enough. Okay, now. Yeah, I think I am going to put the, um, I think I would like to put the glitter. Or I could use could I use grip paste? I wonder if I use a thin layer of grip paste. No, because that would need to be all over. Greg Kitty, I'm so sorry. I forgot you're down there again. You know what I think I'd like to do? I think I'd like to put some expand paste on here. We had some fun with that expand paste last time. But what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and glue these things down the way I want them. And before I even do that, I need to punch a hole for the string that we're going to put in there. So that... Now we could do this a couple different ways. I could put a long hole in there and put a ribbon in it. But I think I want... Here's a regular punch. I think I just want to do a string, like butcher's twine. So we'll just punch a hole. those and that kind of gives me some basis where um, these are going to need to be put It's so quiet here today. I think I might actually be home alone. I'm not sure. Should go do laundry, huh? <laughs> it's like I'm never home alone. Our laundry room is downstairs where the kids live in their uh, in the little mother-in-law suite, so I don't get down there very much or as often as I'd like. So when they're gone, I go do laundry. All right, if some of these pop up a little, I'm okay with it. Oh, that one's, I need to cut that one. If they pop up a little bit, that gives it a little bit more um, depth, texture, interest, all those good words. All those words we talk about all the time. It's 
probably honestly better if it doesn't go all the way flat. Kind of like that would, would be cute. Now, what I could do, and I think I will, I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun. Because with that popping up like that, I could put a dab of glue and it'll actually stay like that so it won't go flat. I think that's a good idea. I think I just heard a car door. There goes my home aloneness. <laughs> if I ever was, I don't even know. Don't even know. Oops, wrong one. All right, we'll do that one later. I always mix a little bit of hot chocolate in my coffee, so it still tastes good when it's cold too. Nice and sweet. Now you could put, I could still put some ribbon in there because it's the hole's big enough, but I think I'm just going to tie it with butcher's, oh, well, I wanted to put a ribbon, I wanted to put a paper bow on it. Maybe I should rethink that. Just put a fabric. Well, I do have this one fabric one I wanted to use. This is one I wanted to get off my desk. I thought that would be cute, but actually I think it's too big. Kinda, huh? It's too big. All right, I'm just gonna put a little puff of glue. I'm not going to press it down. I'm just gonna leave it sitting up. Just a little bead. And that way you can see these are still sticking up. You don't have to use you don't have to use foam under there. You could use foam, but I like this because it's still kind of gonna sit naturally because it will push it naturally down a little bit, but it'll hold it nice and straight, and it's done. You could even put a little dab right here under this one, just to make that kind of bend forward a little bit. Not cute. Just a little tiny dab will do it. What are you doing, Cash? What are you doing? And this one didn't go down either, so we'll put a little bit under there. Put a little bit under this one. Guys, I did not sleep well last night. I got into the making spirit. I was so excited to get some of these things done today. I love that. Jeez. Kitty, she just walked over my foot, and I didn't know. I thought she was on the other side of me, and her tail dragged along my top of my foot. It tickled. But I didn't realize it was her. It scared me. Okay, and then let's see this one. And I think those are all down pretty good. Okay, so here's what my thought is on this one. Let's put some stuff up. Out of the way. I guess that bow's not going to work. So, my thought. First of all, I need a white gel pen. Should be one right here, but 
it. Of course, of course, of course. There it is. Just a little highlight on those berries. Should we do some expand paste? Oh, I want to. I want to. Let's do it. Um, spatula. We had so much fun with this last time, right? You guys were excited about this. This is a Sizzix expand paste. This has lasted me for a couple years now. It's still nice and juicy like it's supposed to be. And what I'd like to do with it now since this is going to be the top this is where this is where snow would settle right so I think I'm just gonna kind of dab it along the top where snow would settle if it had actually snowed don't need a lot just enough to make a difference, just enough to see it. Put a little bit on the berries. Kind of use the spatula to make it, you know, go where we want it to. And before I do the other ones, I'm going to test it and make sure that this does what I want it to do. Because if it doesn't, I don't want to waste the other ones. Alright, let's try it. Now this should puff up really cute. I'll let this warm up a second before we start. I'm going to use my lower heat this time and hold it a little further away. getting dull and pretty soon it's going to start popping like popcorn. So I'm getting closer and closer aren't I? I guess if I'm far enough away I can use my higher heat. Ooh yes that's what I wanted to see. There it goes. See that popping up? That's what we want right there. Everywhere that paste went. I'm gonna make sure we got it all done. That's what I was looking for. Yes, we're gonna do them all. Isn't that cute? I love it. And then we're just going to take a string. Do I have mahogany? I thought I did, but I don't know. I take a string and we can tie it in there. You could put a bow on there or whatever you like. But I am just going to put a little tag on there, or a little string on there. And this one is done. Let's do the rest. Let's do it again. I love the way this stuff works. Isn't it fun? If you guys don't have expand paste in your Christmas uh, in your Christmas supply stash, you really need to think it or something like it. I know that I, I understand that there's some other products too. Um, I don't know what those are called, but 
I think somebody had, I can't remember who I was talking to, they had a snow pen or something, or maybe I saw a video. I'd imagine it's doing the same thing or the same type of thing. I'm not sure. But you can just kind of look around and see what supplies, if you're not comfortable working with this format or this. I'm sure there's other things you could use too. Maybe. Okay. This is the one I found and I love it. You want to be careful if you look in here you can see it did pick up some of the ink so you want to be careful with that and I was doing that over my lid which is probably not smart either you don't want to make it too thick I found um, the hard way you don't want to make it too thick either because it won't it won't all pop and you'll have a weird mess on your hands I think that's enough, and I think that's it for these. Let's close that back up so I don't dry it all out. I don't want to pop the jar. One more time with this magic. There it goes. two more strings. Almost to the end of this one. So I am personally in the middle of No Spend November. So you guys will see me using up some of my stuff. I'm excited about that. Very excited about that. I love using up my things, my crafting supplies. Because what does that do? It leaves room for new and fresh ones. And that's always fun. Oopsie, look, this one is mushy. I didn't get it all. It's mushy. So I'm going to see if I can get that done. Should not be squishy. There it goes. Now it's popping. Sometimes I get a little nervous about pop or heating it too much because it will it will scorch and it'll turn a light brown even if there's no ink there. So sometimes I get a little nervous about it and I don't heat it quite enough. So just double check, make sure you got enough because it will. It will deflate later if it's still wet. It won't stay cookie. And you don't want that. That's not what you want. Not to be purdy. Oh, 
All right, you guys, there's my three tags for today. There's my last of the string. So that is a good, good start to my Christmasing and all the fun tags I get to make for Christmas. I'm excited and I'll be uh, definitely sharing more. I hope you guys enjoyed that little project. That was fun for me and I hope that you learned something. I hope that if you're new here and you have watched this far that you'll be willing to stick around. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to hit 2,000 soon. Yay! And thank you all who have made it possible so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.